to take a stand. That's right, I don't care how unpopular my opinion may be. I'm gonna say my piece, damn it. That's right, I'm here to speak out against spam. What do you mean? I don't like spam! And yes, I don't mean that kind of spam, I mean annoying, repetitive advertisements on the internet. You know that stuff in your email folder that you never open? Yeah, that. You see, I'm the sole moderator on our site because no one else can be bothered to do it, and so all of the comments that we get filter through me. Now, we're not really that popular yet, so it's not like it's a full-time job, we only get a few a week. But herein lies my personal problem with spam. You see, every time that we get a message that uh, a new comment has been made, I kind of get excited that I'll get to see some message from a fan or somebody new who wants to make some mention about the site. Hell, I'd even settle for a negative comment about how I'm such an idiot and how I'm crazy for liking something I like or disliking something that I dislike. Something that shows someone who would care enough to actually see something and comment on it. But no, 9 out of 10 times, or even higher, it's just spam. And you know how I know it's spam? It's pretty damn obvious. A lot of the time, they say things like, Wow, your article was so informative. I am glad I googled you. When they're commenting on a comedy video. Actually, this is a weird thing about that recently where one page has been getting a ton of spam over the past couple weeks. And that page is sorry again. The page where it's just us apologizing for all the delays in the schedule over this summer. Why? Is that page somehow more frequently trafficked or something? I, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't like spam, but that goes without saying. No one likes spam. I'm not here to complain about it. I'm actually here to point out its futility. First, like I said, with that supposedly sneaky spam, it's still blatantly obvious because it's written by a program that's not about to pass a Turing test anytime soon. And even if it does get through, what's the point? The entire purpose of these sneaky ones is that it doesn't include a blatant advertisement. So it doesn't mention your product, your service, or your company. So it's not even an ad. So why even do it? Yes, you can put a URL on your name on the comment. But seriously, show of hands, who here has ever clicked on a comment's name just because it's a hyperlink? If you have, leave me a comment. But seriously, if I'm not too sure if something's spam or not and I want to keep up the comment just in case because I don't want to just delete people's things, I'll take the URL off of it so it's not linking to a company. So it really serves no purpose. Remember that folder in your email I mentioned earlier? The one you never open? Not really? Yeah, there's a reason for that. Because you never open it. And because of that, you almost never see any spam. Because spam blockers are really quite good nowadays. You see, there's only a finite number of tricks that spam bots can use to get past spam blockers. And Quite frankly, the same people making those tricks are the people who's programming the spam blockers to block them. So, people aren't even seeing the spam that you're sending out, so why are you wasting energy sending them out? Third, and probably most importantly, 
let's just say your email gets through, your comment gets posted, or you spam a message board will probably get up before a moderator is able to delete it and your account. Well, you still haven't accomplished anything, because no one reads it. In the 20 odd years that our culture has been on the internet, we have learned to just tune out spam. We see the phrase, enlarge your penis today, and we stop reading. No one is getting your poorly written, badly spelled message because no one is even looking at it anymore. There's the rub. I'm sure that companies using spam bots are making pennies a month on the three remaining rubes and old people out there who still fall for their stuff. And while I'm sure it doesn't cost much to maintain them since they're self-running programs, it still doesn't sound very cost-effective to me. Imagine if those same companies funneled their time, money, and effort into an actual ad campaign, like the ones that run before and during my videos. You would be employing people in this bad economy. Your message would actually reach people especially with these blip ads like mine, because they're reaching a kinda captivated audience here. And blip will have more than just one goddamn ad to show before every video they start for a month and a half. In other words, everyone wins. And yet, I'm sure this isn't going to happen. In fact, I'll bet you 20 bucks that eventually this very video will get a spam comment. And, as noted before with the bad economy, it's not like I have 20 bucks to blow if it wasn't a safe bet. Actually, on that note, for any companies out there who might want to take my suggestion, I'm totally available to make ads. I could write them, or direct them, shoot them, star in them, or I could do it all. See? Mmm, these Ruffle brand sour cream and onion chips sure are delicious. But boy, do they make me thirsty. Luckily, I have my Mug brand root beer. Mmm, Mug. The thirst decimator. But seriously, don't spam. It's not going to get you anywhere, and at best it's going to annoy people and turn them off from your product. Instead, invest your money on doing an actual advertisement. And, if you are clever and entertaining, then maybe you'll go viral and people will do the spamming for you for free. Think about it.